The problem is that if the sea reaches up to here, and it probably will, the mold could easily float away, and then we'd be lucky to find it tomorrow. Or it could get damaged, or else someone might come along and steal it. As they find new tracks, this process will be repeated, creating a unique archive that can be studied by future generations long after the original footprints have been lost. Very happy. It really is mission accomplished. Teresa Manera believes the Pewin Co footprints are so special that they could spark new interest in a region that has high unemployment and limited tourist appeal. In 1990, she helped establish a municipal museum of natural sciences in Punta Alta, 50 kilometers down the coast from Pewin Co. She named it after her hero. Desde que se fundó el Museo Carlos Darwin, from the moment the Charles Darwin Museum was founded, I was worried about how to interest the people of Punta Alta, because it's a rather unusual town linked to a military base. Many of the residents have moved here from other provinces, and most of them have no roots in Punta Alta. So I thought it was very important that instead of identifying with the naval base, that they should identify with the nature of the area, with the natural sciences. To encourage that, we had to attract children. We started to think about projects related to fossils that would make learning fun. Someone came up with the idea of making puppets in the form of the most common animals from the footprint site. With a large fossil collection, mostly gathered by Manera and her husband over many years, the museum's a great resource for high school students. Megatherium bones from Po and Co. and 70 million year old dinosaur eggs mean there are always plenty of questions for Teresa. Of course, the more anyone studies, the more they see. And that's why in every walk of life, not just paleontology, the more we know, the more we end up knowing and enjoying about the world. Manera donated her fossils to the museum because she wanted them to have a permanent home and be seen by the public. The museum has become a nerve center for the Pewen Co. research, and director Ricardo Caputo and his staff are key to its success. The Rolex Award will fund construction of an archive behind the museum, where all the footprint molds and documentation taken from Pewen Co. Beach will be conserved. Only when it's completed will Manera be able to start her survey of the entire site. Back in Pewen Co., Teresa hopes the footprint site can eventually create fresh opportunities for local people. I think in the early days, I just thought it was vital to save the footprints because they were so important and wonderful. But I didn't think about the other side of it. But as time has passed, I've come to realize and believe that they must also be used to help local people develop, not just by widening their knowledge, but in helping them find work in the future and becoming more complete as people. Some years ago, Teresa persuaded the local government of Poen Co. to build a small museum to display fossils collected in the area. It depicts the animals and the habitat that existed here 12,000 years ago. Now, Teresa's plans have become more ambitious. In the future, the idea is to make a place like a park 
The long-term plan is to create a kind of park with reproductions of the footprints, and we could also have life-size models of the animals set among the dunes, where people will be able to see the tracks but not break them, since they'd be copies. This could also open the future in new ways. Instead of having to fish or work with tourists, it could create many possibilities in terms of jobs and activities for local people. Teresa Manera's belief that a deeper understanding of natural history can transform lives is rooted in her own fascination with paleontology. She knows the sea will eventually claim the footprints. Yet at least the Rolex Award will help focus international attention on Pewen Co and give her the chance to make a permanent record before the tracks are lost forever. I think it's important to find one's vocation in life. I found mine, and that explains everything. When I see these marvels that have somehow been preserved and think that we discovered them and understand their significance, I feel it's my duty to protect them.